Welcome. Welcome, beautiful souls, ascended stars. We're going to find out who's coming up next. We're crawling. We're crawling over here. Um, the energy is low. How is everyone? Missed you. Let's get into it, okay? Let's see what's going on for the collective. What? Who wants to come in next? Pisces, my love birds, my love fishies. Yes. Beautiful Pisces. Let's go into it. Let's find out what's the dealio. Pisces, I love you. So let's see what we have for the Pisces energy. This is great. It's destiny. It's the 12th house. It's really what we're at. You know, we're really at the 12th house. Just endings and beginnings, aren't we? We are literally there, Pisces. Thank you so much for showing us. This is the end, my friend. <laughs> That's what I hear. Oh, my God. Um, the doors. The doors. Yeah, isn't that funny? It's the end, and then the band is called the doors. So it's in that choices choices about things that you love lovers um communication uh, jolly communications family members siblings uh going around your neighborhood and i see epiphanies and at peace wow a lot of channeling with that one what else do we get Let's see what's going on. Okay, we have a King of Pentacles. Being secure, having your own business, being independent, uh, and maintaining, maintaining yourself, keeping yourself definitely above waters. Uh, on the land, in the 3D realm, you're seen as successful, or you're dealing with somebody such as, but I do feel it's a lot of independence, making that choice. Yeah, maybe closing up chapters of, of um, things that were too codependent. Let's look over here. Breathe. Yeah, transitioning. Be fair. To be fair. Time for a nap. Time for a nap. Yeah, it's like nappy time. Oh, that's definitely... This is definitely your reading. Let me put a little lotion on my hands if you don't mind. All right, so listen. Let's listen. Let's listen to the past. What do we have? The emperor. Okay, so the choices that you've made have brought you where you're at, and you're pretty happy. This is um, the Five of Swords reversed. So, it's not really about winning or losing. It's about making these choices realistically. And maybe you've come to see this lesson. You've come to wake up because you've been, you know, in la-la land in some aspects of your life. There's a deep passion here to move forward with something or someone or someone's very interested in my Pisces, as I am interested in you, Pisces. Someone is interested. Someone's really, I'm sorry, not just interested. They are, they're, they, they, they get, might stutter. They might uh, not be comfortable around you because they really want to, um, you arouse them very much. But it's like a, a discomforting arousal. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, I'm in a reading. Please, one moment. Ten minutes. All right, we got ten minutes, Pisces. You and me, honey. All right, so what we're doing is, uh, yeah, this is like I said, this person, you really do excite them and, and make them happy. Okay, so I do feel like it's, and what did I say? Look at that. It's just, um, it's that beautiful kind of innocent, uh, not quite, you see people want to get in between that, this situation too. You have, you saw, you heard the knock. Hint, hint. So, you know, these are, these are, um, forces here that are trying to not make you see the, this person as, 
as important in your life? Yeah, there's secrets here. Yeah, look at this. People don't want you happy right now. There's one, maybe one of your siblings, maybe somebody in your family. Yeah, look at that. They're sending messages. Look at that. Oh, you know what this is, right? Seven of Swords. Not a good card. To, yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, these are the forces that are unseen, unbeknownst to you. You have your psyche senses, spidey senses, but for Pisces, it's the psyche senses. Uh, and you know, you know what's going on. You know, you know, you know what's going on. <laughs> you know, they can't fool my Pisces. They can't, they can't get you. They can't get you. They can't come at you. They can't get you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, you get it first. Gonna get, 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 get. Gonna get and gonna give. Gonna get and gonna give. You know why? You're moving higher. Your vibration's higher. Look, at this is the six. We're in the year of the six. You are vibing with the love vibration. They cannot keep... Look, you are equilibrium here. You see how she's got... Like, it looks like a scale? To be fair? Okay. Okay. Okay, there. There is astral attacks. Okay, now let's calm down. Calm down. Let's just back up, back up, back it up. There's some astral attacks. Yes. Okay, they tr are trying to uh, get you off track. Okay, you don't see them, and they're infiltrated deep inside the house. They're in your home. They're in the lineage. They're in the ethers. Okay, 17 seconds. Uh, I have to explain that later on. Um. But that's I, I gotta make a note for that Pisces. You guys, you guys are making me make notes, man. I love it. Thank you so much. I love you, Pisces. I love you. All the psychic stuff coming down with my Pisces reading. <laughs> Woo! I love you. All right, just let me take a note real fast. Seventeen seconds, cause I gotta write that down. All right. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. Let's get a um. A, a Yogananda card for this. This is deep, okay? This is the 12th house. You're finishing something up. Something's following you. It's a spirit, right? It's a spirit of something toxic. Something wants to, is latched onto you psychically, okay? So you got to like clear it. And that's where you're at. The 12th house. You're the master of clearings, basically. You know, you surpass Sagittarius. Even though Jupiter... I don't want to make it a competition about the zodiac signs. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. That's not what I meant to say. Okay, here we go. Realization. Let me read it to you. The light of God is evenly distributed, but in some men it is more apparent than in others. For those who tune in with him reflect his light more clearly. Realization comes from the constant deep meditation from the ever busy, ever searching mental effort to convert theory through practice into useful knowledge. Lift your consciousness from the confining noisy world of matter into the vastness of silence and commune there with god do not look for a spiritual flower every day sow the seed water it with prayer and right endeavor when it sprouts take care of the plant pulling out the weeds of doubt indecision and indifference that may spring up around it from time to time some morning you will suddenly behold your long-awaited spiritual flower of realization. Aha. Okay. I, if that's not deep, I don't know what is. I don't... Okay, I, w I wanted to play with these cards. We're going to get you the... Um, yeah, we're going to get the sisters, Mystic Sisters, okay? Let's get you one of these. Let's get you... I think we should, we, I think we need more than one spirit telling me. Okay? 
yeah this is And I'd like to say, what have you gotten yourself into, Pisces? But it's not really that energy that you've got yourself into something. It's like you're you're finishing up a cycle. You're getting yourself out of something. And you've conquered it thus far. And, and, and there's a dynamic here, okay? Let me get my little feather. Where are you, my feather, feathery friend? I lost you. Okay, let's... There's a dynamic here of like somebody also in a very false, it could be this partner right here, okay? Could be your, your other half. You are their dream, but this person is in a very dark uh, mentality, okay? And this is about giving too, all right? So this is someone here ha is not able to give, okay? They're in a very dark place or they have very dark secrets and dark habits, and yet they do have this i won't say it's a facade they do have a lot of admiration for this person but they um i can't go i can't go there let's just <laughs> let's do the dragon goddess look at that yeah they have to still slay a a, a dragon okay they still got to slay this dragon here that is uh, within them it's within them it's it's coming out to the surface okay something is here you reflect my collective pisces you reflect look they look so much alike whoa it's crazy i love that okay you came in and 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 somehow um you reflected a lot of their past Okay, and this is a circle, so maybe they've been um, going, you know, around the drain and not healing. And then you come here and you're very healing. She's carrying a star. She's carrying a star, so she's very healing. She comes in and she's very, see, transparent. She's naked, right? And this one, she's wearing white. So she comes in with her gentleness, her kindness, her sensitivity. And there's this uh, also psychic connection here, okay? So there's something here where there was this person's, still because this is the current now 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 and then we have hakate yeah this is the crossroads that we're at this weekend and this is a weekend energy my love so i maybe i should just put pisces in weekend energy because it's all one and the same here and initiation yeah so this person needs to choose okay uh their their soul is like are they going to be going round and round to another cycle down the drain right oil and water negative negativity not learning this is um, running away from doing the healing work, the mother healing inner inner child work, okay? Initiation, of course, they have to choose. They're at the crossroads. Hakate is the, the three. Um, she came in at the middle of the year, you guys, last year. Whoa, did she come in? And, and she's represented by crows as well and a black dog. And uh, so, yeah, so she is past present future lately you guys i don't know what's happening but every time i come and sit down and start doing readings and giving you the 411 i start getting headaches and i never suffered from headaches in my life my whole life but you will allow your emotions to rule under the influence of pity, not love. Later, the folly of your mistake will cause complications and misunderstandings. Woo, that is so you, Pisces. Do not have pity on whoever. Okay, for some of you, this person has, um, I'm going to tell you, this, this is the Pisces Scorpio energy. Uh, somebody's very deep into their drug addiction, all right? And so do not take pity on them because they're going to try to pull all this manipulation strings okay so this is deep stuff you need to run away from that when they call that call comes in in the middle of the night or very early mornings um they're gonna try to get you to you know um stay unbalanced with your money i mean it's straightforward straightforward let each day from today represent one year of your life to date Within that number of your day. No, I don't want to do these number things. I hate this. I should take those out. Those are annoying as heck. Don't do that. 
not do not want to be tripped up i just did a survey the other day <laughs> it was crazy i was like i was like what how much longer is this gonna take well i estimated out 30 20 minutes i was like what i thought you said it was gonna be 45 minutes and we're 40 minutes into it they lie they lie okay let's see an unexpected adventure is going to to so excite and please you that you will recount it many many times like a miser counts his coins i like that i like that i like that i want to do one more because three is my magic number and three is gemini the third house so in honor of gemini the third house um there could be an influential gemini look out for communication from somebody from a worker from your workplace from somebody um, maybe just calling on the phone who's a business person, an insurance salesman. You never know. Your tomorrows are good tomorrows. Your tomorrows are thrilling tomorrows. Your tomorrows are full of joy and happiness. Your tomorrows are to be envied. Wow, I like my tomorrows. That's what you got to start saying. I like. Wow, Spirit's telling you. Sir, thank you. Take it. Let's do love. Let's do love. Let's do love. Let's do the love here on this card, okay? We'll do it on the um, beautiful energy here. I, I would say two of cups because, oh, it's a soulmate. It's a soulmate. It's a soulmate energy. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Yeah, it does feel strong. This is. I feel, okay, another thing I was going to tell you is I do feel that somebody's breaking this bond. You came in, okay? Look at this. This is lifetimes, too. Honey, this is lifetimes. Lifetimes. Um... Yeah, I can't even, this, this card is too much. This is and look at look these are at night you guys astral travel if you have not already met you're already in each other's auric field okay you're coming into it this week i mean it is just that in your neighborhood in your neighborhood okay this this gateway is like closing up it's weird it's weird yeah it's destined from the motherland your emperor yeah, they, they started even the reading telling you you're getting you're letting go of something toxic or this person is at the at the tail end of letting go of something toxic and ready to start giving. Ready ready to give, okay? This could be also at a church, at a um, donation center, a thrift store, a uh, community center. Yeah, a pet location. Hmm. A lot of things here. Okay, a medical, a medical place. Let's get another, let's give us more spirit. Will you give us more on this six of pentacles? You did. Okay, look, at there you go. Twelfth house. This is closing up. Closing up, okay. Somebody's going to choose their soulmate, and that soulmate is you, Pisces. They, um... They're hitting rock bottom here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even look at the garden until I just put it out. They're hitting rock bottom. Oh. Oh, God. They're hitting rock bottom. And then, then what? What happens? A new start. I don't know if they... It's like they don't see this coming. Like, they don't see this coming. Yeah. And then they get a new beginning. How many damn major arcanas do we need? How many? How many does it take? How many licks does it take to get to the bottom? of okay where's my feather now i lost it one two three four five six seven major arcanas and a, there is guys there is like if you when you guys met um when you guys met uh, yeah, there was like a very synergistic energy here. Like, 
combustion. And this person has been in this energy of uh, very, very low vibrational, extremely low vibrational. Maybe when you met them, they were like this, like they were just into bad stuff. But now they're in denial that they are even like any issues. So this has got to hit rock bottom here. Spirit's going to say no more. But this is going to bring this person to a place where they need to make that final decision. It's almost like a tower moment, but they know. They know what to do. They don't want, okay, like they have to face things, okay? They have to face things. I think it has to do with love, okay? They do have to face things about their situation, about love is what I feel. Let's figure this out with some chakra cards. I want to get the devil. I want to get the Capricorn devil card clarified with um, the chakra cards from my Pisces collective, please. Fear, anxiety, restlessness. Wow. That's what I was telling you right when I was talking about this. This person, they have this anxiety so they might um, pacify it, remedy it with, with, with a, little, a little here and there. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't <laughs> It's okay. Let's get another one. I'm not saying let's get another one. Energy bonds, cords of connections. Yeah, and that's the thing that they have energy bonds, cords of connections of, of the way that they dealt with things and that those energy bonds no longer serve them. They've outgrown those people. See, with the 12th house here, outgrown uh, people, places, things. And we have uh, now a new way of thinking and they want to manifest something different. Two Gemini energies, boom, boom, boom. And I dare say Johnny Depp, you know, he came to his senses. Okay, so <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry to put that in your reading. Yeah, but it took a lot of hard knocks. It took a lot out of him to finally re recognize. Look at the humiliation, the dragging themselves in the mud. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say anything more. But let's get you some angel cards, okay? I, I'm i sorry I had to go there, but it's just uh, a sad, 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 sad situation. And, and if, I, if anybody hasn't watched that, you know, this is about making the wrong choices and um bringing people along because this this is the, uh yeah bringing your children along you know bringing other people along um closing those cycles that need to be closed like maybe people who were intrusive who shouldn't have been in your life in the first place or You never closed cycles up, okay? Because I did have seen a lot of 999 energy. I don't see a lot of 9 here, but I did. That's a lot of closing up of loose ends. Freedom. Can't. Oh, okay. Freedom. Friendship, okay? This is a good friendship here. This, this is a really, like, really passionate, but there's an amazing understanding. And you, like I said, you connect in the ethers here. And it's a blessing. So they're, you're moving into something grander, bigger, better. Um, let's get a, let's get, let's, I'm going to do another one. I'm kind of curious because like the love was only one, but that was a quite a banger. That one, that one soulmate blessing. Look, and I put the blessing on top of soulmate. This per, it's like they don't, it's like around the corner. You don't see what's coming kind of energy. But you really have to clear your energy here because there's energy bonds still that you're not really aware of, them or you. And that's very true to kind of Piscean energy. And you're still in the cycle right now. You might not be able to sleep so well at night. Uh, and, and it's just about the worst is over, right? The Ten of Swords is the worst is over. So you guys are back to this place of flirting and... and um, you know, lightheartedness, flirting, don't take it so seriously, but you deep down know inside this is the one. This is push the soulmate energy. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Um, this is a great reading. I can't get any better than this. This is one of the best readings of the zodiac. I, all the other zodiac signs should be quite jealous. This is one of the best readings, and I know how romantic you guys are. I don't want to, like, you know, over 
go shoot my my mark here but this is such positive energy i i know that whole devil thing here is is there let's not neglect that right and and this but the, the 10 the worst is over and it's declining okay so it's and then it's time just to manifest and just to energetically bring in this person who is very much for you for you okay and there's so much passion in the connection and it's a wish come true okay i mean and also confirmation a lot of readers use the, the, the gemini card this card as confirmation for twin flames i don't use that typically but i'm telling you for for this um reading and and with blessings to come right next to this you need to get away from whatever has held you back and a lot of it seems to be from your past okay your past this is a new fresh beginning so you go from past to beginning okay so take care much love and light god bless bye, -bye.